Hello, class here, Hollow Knight. In the last part, we explored some around Crispletal Peak, and there's still more pathways. So, I'm gonna explore more. And then I don't actually know. Although, I guess there are a few ways to go. Let's see. No, it's not up here. It's more to the right. Oh yeah, up there was where we fought the guy with the laser beam that I kept not reacting to. Partially just because your after attack delay almost cost you enough time that you couldn't jump in time. It was a pretty fast laser beam. Yeah, more up. I can do that. Alright, yeah, I believe here is where we fall from. If we jump off the edge up at that really high area. I knew it was one of the two upward exits, but I couldn't remember which. Because it looks like the other one is lined up on the map with it. But that's apparently just not correct. If that was a silly jump to do. I'm past... What? It's like up there. Oops. Anyway, let's take the bottom right exit. We should at least be able to reach that one. Huh. Oh. By the way, there are crystals there. Oh, there's one of these here. I'm just gonna deal with this guy first. Oh, goodbye. I think I have magnets. Um. Oh, I was trying to double. Whoa. His uh, laser ended up weirdly disconnected from him. Okay, that's a screen transition. Let's see... Oh, we did it! I was gonna say, let's go back until we see the tree and then head to the right again. I guess we do that anyway, because we want the bottom right exit to the room. I was considering a super dash in case that couldn't be dashed across. Because I could stop a super dash. Just right there. Oh, that's all that's over here. And I've apparently killed enough of those spike things. Oh yeah, you have to back away before they retract. Is that all that's here? Okay. Oh. The slight elevation difference. Ah! That is really precise. I think a super dash is going to be easier. Then you just jump here, and you jump and dash there. Alright. So now I guess we go back to the bench, because I apparently can't get upward where I thought I would be able to. It's weird that there are two upward things. Maybe it depends on how far to the left you go before you fall down. I kind of want to go up and then try to fall straight down instead of left and then down. But also just, like, I want to go down to the exit that's near resting grounds. Also, can I get up from here? I think at the far left of the room I can. Oh yeah, of course, because I made the whole loop. Eh, it's not that bad a detour. So we're going to go up, and then we're going to fall down and see if we can fall in the right end of the room. Or rather, not extreme to the left, because the last time I super dashed left, and then I like hit an invisible barrier or something.
Oh. See you later. Oh. Apparently didn't have enough of those until now. And now we're good on that enemy type. And this was a good little side expedition to finish off all these enemy types. Yep. I still need to do, like, some bonus Saturday evening thing or something where I just read log entries. Man, those are really fast to kill if you know what distance to back away to. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I'm actually jumping through that. Oh yeah, okay, so left more... Or I mean, not left more. Oop. Okay, so we're here. Right now, it looks like on the map, if I just fall straight down, I should go to... Yeah, there. Okay. So they do connect up, and there's not anything critical that you fall past. That's re really what I was interested in. I wasn't sure if there was going to be a room in the middle. Okay, yeah, there's the sign for the bench. Might as well hit it up, get our hit point back. And get our map updated. Okay, and that fall through area just never shows up on the map. I was also somewhat curious about whether it would. So I'm gonna have to remember that forever, that there's not really anything there. Just down, okay. Going down, 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 down. I just can't believe it's all right. What? Oh, this looks fun. <laughs> I wonder if I'm doing something backwards. I think I am. I think you gotta go to the right. Uh oh. <laughs> I wonder if there's a route where I could have avoided all these smashers entirely. No, I should have healed before I uh, fought anything so that it would actually get soul back. I don't think it really matters in this zone. Whoa! I'm surprised they don't even, like, throw crystals at me or anything. They're just, like, totally non-threatening. Did I just not have the lamp here? Before? Oh, wait. This isn't the room I got stopped on. Yeah, I couldn't get over to here. Solar recharge and a building. Maybe I should have hit the slow recharge to make sure it got added to my map or something. Oh, it's so that you can smash through here. I do want the slow recharge. I don't know if you need to hit them to get them added to your map, because I always hit them. Anyway. We're committed now. Crystallized mound. It. I got turned around because I wall slid on... Oh, right, these platforms. So I'm not gonna be, uh, fighting much here. Oh, hi. So they do throw the crystals, it just takes them a while. I 
feel like double jump is trivializing some of this. That was an old enemy to run into. The rolling thing. Alright, uh, did you, yeah, reset? Oh. Is this one smaller than the other one? Are there like two levels of recharge shrine? Why am I calling them shrines? I don't know. Alright, so there was a left path and there was a, there's a right path. I'm gonna go over here arbitrarily. What's this? Okay, so this is where I entered the area, basically. No, oh, I needed one more hit. And the guy popped. I was expecting to break him out. Consumed the descending dark. Tap B while holding down to strike the earth with a burst of power. Spells will deplete soul or replenish soul by striking enemies. Alright. I'm guessing it breaks floors the same way that my other power does, and that... I don't know why it would be here, but... Whatever. Let's see what's to the right. There's crystals on the wall. Oh, one of these. Okay. So I chose my path poorly. I had to backtrack slightly. Anyway, new spell is good, I guess. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to go now? Uh, I think that's the real question. <laughs> I want to get to that, but... I was blocked. I haven't found any other pathway that looks like it goes there than perhaps, like, there. But there was a locked door. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it comes from that hallway? Except, I th isn't there also a locked door there? I don't know. Yeah, let's go down, because there'll be a, um... Wait a minute. Well, too late now. It looks like there was a ledge on the left. But I don't think there was anything on the ledge, so it doesn't matter. Alright. So yeah, if I just proceed right. Does this say anything different now that I've, like, defeated two of them? Yeah, Lurian the Watcher in his spire looking over the city. That's the one that's left. I mean, I, he's already marked on my map as being in the city. We didn't really get any new information there. Or any old information that was forgotten, even. Well, besides his name. Let's see, and I believe I need an, another 100 essence before I get the next reward, but I'm checking anyway. Because I did pe reach a multiple of 800 from um, absorbing the one person in Pleasure House. Oh, starting to become a dream ourself. They'll teach us trick once we gather an es- Wait a minute. Somewhere, I got a second pale ore. I should take care of that before I do anything else. This is not the room I meant to go into. I know I didn't talk to all the spirits ever. It's still not something that really interests me. Where do I want to go? Let's see, he's there. Closest stag station is the top of City of Tears. Um, which one is that? Is it Queen's Station? No. I think that's the city storerooms. I'm, I'm kind of
kind of tempted to climb up first to the um, Charms and Charm Notches vendor. But at the same time, I n might need to spend Geo to get my weapon upgraded. So I think I am going to head down first. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, that's a little of a detour. I was thinking of going right and checking out to see if that passageway was blocked. That seems like it should lead to, um... Hey, you still warped me down. Um, oh, hey. I've apparently never unlocked this. But it was easily unlocked. Um, yeah, it seems like it should lead to Larry and the Watcher. I know I'm going the wrong way. I thought I heard one of the grub things. Oh wait, it's those things that stick to the ceiling and then explode. I always think they're the rescuable grubs. Speaking of, I should have probably visited the grub room. Oh, right. I'm going the wrong way anyway. So wait, I was going the right way. When I said I knew I was going the wrong way. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, even though I have magnet, I'm not gonna collect that because I have screen transitioned. Apparently not bothering with that bench for some reason. Eh, there's nothing really that threatening around here. As I should make sure I'm actually remembering correctly that I have two pale ore. Yeah, I've got two. And I still haven't figured out the purpose of rancid eggs. There have been too many of them to collect for having no purpose though, right? Alright, we are here. Got my pale ore. Ah, uh, returns. So you have some pale ore, rare fine metal. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Two thousand, huh? I don't have enough. Mm -hmm. I don't have the geo. Come see me when you do. I think I have another king's idol or something that I can trade to the lore person and then get my upgrade. Would have gone there first if I uh, knew we were gonna have this problem. See, it's just... Yeah, it's just a screen over. I Made mean, to actually run into all the money because... Um... Reasons. I'm too high. I thought the sign was pointing up, but it's pointing here. Um, because I was about to screen transition, you know. King's Idol. Another King's Idol. Have you visited the remnants of his palace? It's down below the city in the bedrock of the kingdom. Must have been an impressive sight in its time, now there's nothing left. It's a strange thing, though. There are no signs of conflict around the area. It's as though the whole place just vanished. Might as well turn in my others. Is that Wanderer's Journal? I have so many of these now. Once I get around to deciphering them all, I'll be the preeminent scholar on Hellenist's stead. Another seal. 
Morris Helen or seal? Yeah. You're a talented collector, all right. The best I've met. If you keep at it, I wonder. I, ah, I worry I'll run out of space in the Helen shop. Delica. Looks like you don't have any relics on you. Yeah. All right, now let's get our upgrade. And then I won't have enough to make it worth visiting the charms vendor. So maybe I'll just spend a moment seeing if I can figure out about Lurian the Watcher. <laughs> Double jump is good for not falling in the water sometimes. Not that it would have been tragic, but... It would have been slowed down and we're already wasting time back walking back and forth. Because I didn't have the money the first time. Ah, uh, Ranjo Stenja. Yeah. Give it. Jonsha. As you wish, I'll get to work then. Whoa. It was like, do and then I remembered strong bad. Okay, the reforging is complete. I've modified the nail to spiral form. Very tricky task it was. You'll find it stronger than ever before. Off you go now, cut your way forward. So, uh, I keep hitting the wrong button for the menu. It is definitely spirally. A powerful weapon, Palonest. Refined beyond all others. The coiled nail. Oops! I mean, it still looks the same. Do you mention any further upgrades? Uh, mm, have you turned it to bring me three pieces of pale where I can fold it into your nail and make it stronger still? Alright. Be on the lookout for him. And of course, make sure to stock up plenty of money, because it'll probably cost even more than 2000 so I'm looking to head generally up and right. So I think I'm actually going to pass by the relic vendor again. Or the relic buyer. He doesn't vend to them at all. The question is why I've never taken that passage to the right from this room. Was it just blocked by a switch that was on the other- Why did I get essence there? higher in the room still. Is it like here? Yeah. Okay. Still blocked by a switch. My King's Brand does not do anything about that switch. And that apparently doesn't reach it. Or it can't trigger switches. One or the other. Alright. I mean, I've looked around that room that's in the darker blue, and that didn't really get me anywhere. There was a locked door. Except, I can't be fully blocked off both places, right? I'm gonna check out that other room again. And there's a convenient bench for after I search it, where I've ended off a different- No, I wanted it to go the other way. Forgot for a moment you could trigger it while it was still moving. Alright, see so yeah, it down and right and right and up. No, oh, I'm in an elevator. I was like, why am I not falling? Clearly I should have just fallen down the shaft. Except if the elevator had been in the lower position to allow that. I... oh, hi. 
would have run into the spikes on top of the elevator. No, that didn't really benefit me at all to jump up on the higher route. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Once again, using double jump to get to the upper reaches of this room. Hmm. That is not open to us. We are at the top of the room. I guess it's conceivable that there's a switch around here instead of on the other side of the doors. Maybe if I kill him, it would be enemy locked. Actually, I don't appear to have a way out of here without killing him. I didn't have enough space. Alright, got him. And the switch probably opens something that lets me get to the right. Alright. We are getting places. Except I uh, really should go save. I'm just curious whether there's another switch up here. Yeah, okay. And that opens the top one. And I just want to get the shape of this next room on my map when I go save. I don't know why I pulled up the map after going up there. Alright, so we found our next direction to search. We got a spell. Didn't defeat any bosses or boss-like enemies. I guess that was kind of a mid-boss down below because I was locked in. Oh, I want to head to the left and open up that thin passage. Yeah, it looks like the straight shot up to the last of the dreamers. And then what? I kind of want to explore there. I don't think I ever opened that stag station in Palace Grounds. I can check next time I'm at a stag station, though. Um, is there anywhere else to go on the map? Oh, up there. Okay. And down below Overgrown Mound. And down there. Alright. I guess I'll decide which of those extra directions I go next time after I deal with Watcher's Spire. So, uh, yeah. See ya!